What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second video sponsored by Cyberlink. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to stream your power DVD and of course your DVDs and movies as a whole to your television set. Now say you have a netbook or a laptop, it's not always convenient to watch movies and DVDs and Blu-rays and TV shows on that small little screen. And say you have a 4K television lying around, then it's in your best interest to go ahead and figure out how to stream in a, in a really easy way directly to that giant screen. So the most typical method that people use is of course simply to hook up their laptop via HDMI or DVI directly to their television set. But of course this involves wires and of course it involves you having to screw around with your television for a little bit which does of course waste time. There's another method that involves Chromecast that I'll be talking about a little later in the video. But for the time being, say you do hook up your laptop via HDMI to your television set, well they made life a little bit easier easier by making you an application. So of course inside of this application you can swipe, you can type inside of this and of course you can go ahead and there's a few extra buttons on the bottom as well. And finally you can of course control this interface made well for the application. As you guys can see this is known as TV mode and on here you can go ahead and swipe upwards, swipe downwards to basically control your TV. It's a lot more fluent the UI is a lot more simpler and it is a lot easier to access the content that you're looking for and sort of ignore all the content you're not looking for. And it kind of is based on sort of tabs, you swipe inwards into the tabs and then you click on the movie you wish to go on to. Now that can be pretty complex, but it gets even more complex for people who have uh, maybe a network storage device that they have all of their uh, content and TV shows and movies located on because they don't want to waste space on their laptop. Now this NAS setup is pretty common and some people have gigantic setups with hundreds and hundreds of movies and things uh, located on there and hundreds and hundreds of songs. And of course other people simply have that one hard drive. In our case we only have a handful of hard drives with all our media stored onto it, but it could still be tough to take that media and transfer it onto a laptop just to stream it to a certain television. So of course what they did with the software is make it life a little bit easier. You can actually directly access that particular drive and you can actually access the NAS in order to basically access all of your TV shows, movies directly from there and then we're going to take a look at Chromecast now. You can stream anything from that particular device onto your television in probably the simplest way ever. Now if you're anything like me, you want the most convenient option and connecting your netbook or your laptop or even your PC via HDMI or DVI to your television set and then jumping into TV mode, searching and finding your movie and finally downloading an application just so you can control your TV from a distance simply isn't the most convenient method of doing things. So here's a more convenient way. Basically, in PowerDVD 16, if you have Roku or an Apple TV or even a Chromecast, you'll be able to right click on basically any movie or photo or song and stream it to your Roku, your Apple TV, or even your Chromecast in seconds. Isn't that so much easier than going through the struggle of connecting your laptop via HDMI and doing all that? One of the reasons that people tend to love Power DVD is, well, its simple interface and of course the information you want right where you want it. So as you guys can see, they have this cool section for their homepage where basically it shows off uh, hot movies, there are upcoming movies, there are new movies that are on DVD and Blu-ray. As you guys can see, it updates pretty fast. We got Frankenstein coming out soon, we got Alice in the Wonderland coming out soon, and American in Paris, so on and so forth. These are all upcoming. These are movies that are new to Blu-ray, The Warrior's Way, Slumdog Millionaire, Star Trek 2, so on and so forth. And these are of course movies that are in theaters. Now, down here we have movies that are the most watched. So if you're looking at basically something that everyone else is watching, go ahead and check out this section. Now what's so cool about this database? Well first of all, you get information at your fingertips. But a cooler part is, say you have a movie lying around or you just downloaded it and of course for some reason, the title gets screwed up because it's an MKV file, and of course the thumbnail gets screwed up and your movie just doesn't look the way you want it to look, and later when you go looking for that movie, you simply will not be able to find it. Well, guess what? Once you import it into Power DVD, it's basically going to sort of sync it with their database and try to link the two and two together and give you your missing thumbnail and things along those lines, which is a really convenient method of basically organizing everything, since that's the biggest attraction when it comes to Power DVD organizing your songs, videos, photos, so on and so forth, all in one place. 
Alright ladies and gents, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. They really did think of every way you can possibly stream media to your television and back to your PC, whether it's through HDMI, whether it's through DVI, through streaming to a Chromecast, streaming through an Apple TV, uh, basically using a TV interface, using the app as a remote, using your remote as a remote, every single way that you possibly can enjoy a TV show or a movie or something on your television or even your PC screen, they pretty much have it. So I find that really convenient. Different people like to do things different ways and if you give them every option, they'll take advantage of whatever they feel is best and I think that is the main attraction when it comes to Power DVD. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If so, leave a like and share it with everyone else. Leave a comment telling me what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.